I think this is a pretty astonishing view that one can enjoy whilst contemplating life and waiting for a bit of action on the bowl. We stayed last night in this amazing homestay. Accommodation on these tours can be a little bit adventurous because, you know, there aren't tourist hotels. So I was going to show you where we stayed last night. We had, where well, we got a, like a little dormitory and everyone's got their own little sleeping quarters. It's absolutely beautiful, this place. The views are stunning, as you just saw from the bathroom or the restroom, whatever you call it. What an amazing place. When you go on a trip like this, it is an adventure. We do have to put aside some of our expectations of what we consider to be the, the least acceptable. This place is really beautiful. Some of the hotels we have to stay in, you know, how can you say it? They're basic, very basic indeed. You know, you will get a clean bed, uh, a shower, some electricity, some good food, they're nice people and it's completely safe. But we do have to put aside our expectations of what is possible when you're doing a bit of an adventure trip. So I have a bit of a confession to make because last night, I can, not last night, yesterday, I completely stuffed up. We visited a beautiful visit, village in some rice paddies uh, to see how the Hmong people live. Um, <laughs> I set the video recording and sort of looked out over the views of the mountains, etc., and then completely stuffed up because when I reached forward to change the camera around the other way, I switched it off. So I didn't realize that we hadn't got any of that footage, which would have given you an amazing insight into the life of these rural people. Anyway, this morning, we're going to be heading back to Hanoi. Right now, the guys are doing a little bit of work on their images just sort of looking reviewing we always do feedback sessions along the way because there's a lot of peer-to-peer -peer learning you know everybody sees the same thing differently it's bartosh over here let's go and have a little look see how layla's getting on see what she's up to hey layla oh, i'm gonna see if i can come down here oh, the water things in the way how do you feel about some of the images you've managed to get um, yeah, I've been quite happy. Um, I just figure that landscape is a bit new to me now, so it's something I'm yet to get a grasp on. But I've got some really good shots, like uh, this one here. Let me see if I can just turn this camera um, around. Because I'm mean, not editing these. It's the just, landscape. I can't see the little thing. There it is. Yeah. Come there on, you turn go. around. There we go. And it's still recording. And it's still recording, <laughs> luckily. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of stick because yeah. I stuffed that up. So that one, yeah, pretty much does the work for you because it's a lovely view by itself. Yeah. So um, it's all about framing, and yeah. then um, because it was just a bit hazy, just have Again, to hazy it a bit. And I mean, you've gotten to, it uh, there. So I'm really happy I've with got that, that one. And uh, it's a beast to work with. But yeah, others that it, it just. Oh, yeah. oh, this woman, she looked lovely, very, very nice. with black teeth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she had really black teeth. Yeah, um, that was unusual, so um, yeah, Pat and I spotted her, and uh, we took a few yeah. few shots. And then uh, and a, a few, few ladies there, oh, with back, nice so. popping colours. Because this part yeah. of um, yeah. Vietnam has no. more colours, I think, um, the, the region, uh, what are they called? Yeah, people. it's just the horns. What are the, the people called? Oh, the Hmong people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know the they, they and have, the Zhao yeah, and all the Zhao, these yeah, that yeah. Every, every, every region yeah, has a different yeah. colour yeah. that they play with the most. And I think these are the most the colourful. Yeah. So we just no, got no, a few no, things that are like, like really shot beautiful shot ourselves. Yeah. Can you show the guys that shot you took in the buffalo market? Uh, that one of the guy wrangling a buffalo, oh, which I think was absolutely stunning. You have to give me a few minutes because I'm not sure I can... I've got others, but I, I, I'm looking for the details. There you go. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. Isn't that awesome? I've got, I've got yeah. some with more buffalo yeah. wrangler in the market. Yeah, so yeah, he's got hold of the buffalo's head buffalo. there. Yeah. That's absolutely yeah. a case of, you know, uh, picking a spot, isn't it? Yeah. And waiting. Yeah. With everything was just set right, and I think I just got it on point um, with my click. Yeah. <laughs> you remember I was about to take off yeah. that buffalo there, but now I appreciate it more because. Um, it actually does make the picture better. I think so. I yeah. think it's an amazing yeah. shot. Yeah. I think it's awesome. Great. Yeah, You're yeah. very, very good at spotting yeah, that's the decisive yeah, moment. Yeah. And, um, you know, this is such a huge part of photography. It's not just, 
using a camera and taking a yeah, picture. It's, it's about it's it's taking it at the great. right it's moment, isn't it? It's been great. It's I've had an amazing time awesome. meeting all these new people, the experience of taking photographs, and they just allowing us in. Yeah. I think that was a very good part of it because um, I don't think in Ghana it would be so easy to just, you know, take walk into <laughs> someone's house and take a photo. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. But they were just so welcoming and warm, and it made things um, quite easy. It's been great. It's been oh, I'm going to have a wander around and see the yeah. others. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Layla. Oh, what have we got over here? I'm going to see Robin and Pat. Robin and Pat are veterans of it. Oh, look. Ah, oh, this is the one you nailed, isn't it, Rob? Hi, oh, Mike. Hello. Oh, thank you. He's giving me a chair. He's much nicer than Layla. I mean, I'll, I'll sneak on here with Come you. Come and cuddle up. Oh, I've a little cuddle with Mr. Miller. Oh, that's comfortable. I like this. That's enough. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, you've got... Let me show some of the guys a couple of your shots. Look at that. Now, Robin so nailed it with this shot. Yeah, she's looking straight out here. Yeah. Right into the sun. Oh, sorry. I just moved that. I was getting the microphone out. <laughs> it is, it's bloody awesome. You know, that lovely warm, rich sunlight and that bit of lens flare. Yeah, it just right adds inside. to the warmth and she's got the knife she's cutting the rice with. Yeah. The, guy, the guy here is, is, is cutting as well. There's a little bit of movement on his hand, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's of the moment, really, I think. It really does tell yeah. the story of, you nailed it totally up there, better than anyone, I think. That's really cool. Shows a couple more. Yeah. 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 This is uh, in the uh, in in the market. You know, very brightly dressed. Um, would like to say what she was selling, but no, I know. <laughs> Yeah, there's a few scary things on some of the markets, they're, they're, they're but you know. But, uh, yeah, we've nice got some lady. awesome stuff. And again, that. it's just a little light yeah. kissing there. Because it has been challenging for landscapes very, very, this time. Very, very, very challenging. A lot of UV, um, but um, got a little bit of colour coming into the into the sunset. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, I think That's you're the only one who's got sunset shots, really, aren't you? Well, I do like a good sunset. You do, I, I know, do. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Oh, I love the pig, I haven't seen that one yet. No, it's the pig, looking a bit... Yeah, <laughs> he didn't look terribly happy, does he? He knows he's going to be lunch <laughs> at some point. At some point, yeah. but uh, not, not today. No. Not today. So, uh, it's brilliant. It's a nice old boy. How do you feel about your pictures overall? Well, th I think there's some great shots there. I mean, there are literally hundreds of frames to uh, to uh, to develop at leisure at home. So, uh, look, really looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah, you'll yeah. be getting stuck into some. More. Getting stuck in, absolutely yeah. getting stuck in. Yeah, definitely. But brilliant time. I mean, fantastic people. The people we've been on with are just it's just been an absolute hoot we have had a laugh we, we, we? have had a laugh we have had a, we've we've had a laugh. laugh yeah yeah no absolutely fine and, and even yesterday when it started chucking it down with rain and the fogs rolling rolling it over no, the hills yeah liquid sunshine liquid sunshine <laughs> <laughs> oh that's awesome yeah that's all. oh thanks rob that's okay yeah Susan. yeah i've seen them both what's pat up to just a quick how are you doing pat well, I've got a couple of landscapes. I, the fog and the mist didn't bother me too much. I was quite pleased. Oh yeah, because that's. One. Hang on, let me turn it around. Let's yeah, show the guys. Oh, we've got a bit of reflection on your screen here. There we go. That's a better angle. Yeah, because of, I was concentrating on the uh, flowers in the foreground, but I quite like the, uh, you know, the mistiness and the highlights and the and the mountain range there yeah. in the background. It's that very one. the mist adds atmosphere, doesn't it? It's very atmospheric. Definitely. And the next one is a similar sort of image. Quite like the flowers in the foreground there, and you can see what's going on in the background, you know, the scenery and everything. I love the way you've included those, you know, and they're just sort of backlit, aren't they? Yeah. It makes them pop, and it gives it a feeling of depth. Beautiful. You're, like, you're really there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> this was the... Uh, the rice harvesters. Yes. This was fascinating, wasn't it? Yeah. And it was also fast and furious, and it was hard to get the actual image, you know, I don't know if I've captured it there or I not. Think, I, th I think you did. I think you captured it very, very well indeed. 
because it's not an easy thing to do. You know, this isn't staged. It's you've got to be in the exactly. right place at the right moment and click at the right instant, as well as manage shutter shot. speed and exposure and all the rest of it. That's right. It's awesome practice to. I mean, these people are not posing for us. They're just doing their job, and and we're there capturing the moment. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about your stuff overall? Oh, I'm delighted with it. That's beautiful. Yeah. Those two there waiting for their uh, buffalo. Yeah. We were taking our time and looking and couldn't care. <laughs> yeah. But no, I'm delighted with the photographs and the images I've got. Um, oh, this was oh, the sweet. market. Yeah. The there was so much going on. It was hard to yeah. capture the right yeah. images. But, um, oh, this fascinated me. It's not particularly a good image, but it was the maggots and the way he was weighing them. And people. He's weighing out maggots yeah. in the market. Um, <laughs> just astonishing to see. Uh, I haven't got these in any particular order. Oh, buffalo. That's a great <laughs> buffalo shot. <laughs> What's he saying to me, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, this I like. Oh, oh I like this day. Yeah, yeah, this was good. I know it was a machine one as opposed to the manly doing it, but uh, the colours and what's going on. Yeah, yeah and really it like really it. gives a sense of location. Yeah. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. Yeah, and it's great. been great having you along again. Thank you. It's been fantastic. It's always been good fun. Robin and Pat are always wandering off somewhere and finding different shots. So, you know, guys, I haven't uploaded many of my pictures because it hasn't been that easy to get a good internet connection um, fast enough to upload pictures, but I will be adding more pictures to the Clickersnap gallery and I'll pop a link below this video. It probably won't be until tonight, it's probably another 12 hours away when we get back to um, Hanoi when I'll have a fast enough connection to do that. If you'd like to join us on a trip like this, uh, then please give me your details at photographycourses.biz forward slash 123. I'll also post a link to that as well when I have a fast enough connection to do it. Um, but also guys, please bear in mind that if you think you're someone who'd kind of like to do it, but you know in your heart you're unlikely to, please don't leave your details because otherwise we'll put in a huge pile of work to set it all up. Um, because we think, you know, there's loads of people interested only to discover that actually three or four people booked it and then we've got to cancel it. And it's so disappointing for these guys as well as a waste of everyone's time. So don't forget, we're, Simon and I are going to be live um, tomorrow. That's the 11th. Now, I don't know what time you're going to be seeing this because I don't know when I'm going to get to post it. But on the 11th, we will be live at 12 noon UK time. Please join us then. We can answer questions about, you know, travel workshops, travel photography in general. We'd love you to join us. Take care. I'll see you later.